introduced a few signs that you look for when you want to know how, when, and how, and which direction, and you know, sometimes, you know, and this took me many years. I mean, I spent years and years not following any sort of guidance, just kind of thinking, this is how I have to do, this is how I have to be, this is how I have to behave, I have to conform to this um, way of being, and so forth. And let me tell you, man, my life sucked, big time. There's a book out, somebody told me about it, I want to read it, it's called uh, Why Your Life Sucks. And I'm sure that book, that, the, the book uh, talks about why your life sucks. And why your life sucks, really, is because you're not, you, you're, let's talk about me. I was holding on, controlling having control over my life, like I have to have control. And once I started to let go, and in fact I had to let go because my health, mentally and physically, was so bad, and that's what happens in life, is the illness is not there to, as we think, move us into a bad situation, it's actually part of the process to bring closer to your awareness that you are out of balance and you're moving in the wrong direction. So this happened and it kept happening and with the last bit of energy I kept going and going to this job and this job and this job and you know and 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 just moving in the wrong direction. But I wasn't aware. I didn't have the awareness that I had now that this is how life works. Illness is telling you pay attention. You get a pain you get uh, a discomfort, you get something, it's telling you something. It's talking to you. It doesn't know language. It doesn't know how to speak. It's telling you. You're moving in the wrong way. So let's look at the opposite. If that's what it takes to remind us that we're moving in the wrong direction, then obviously when we're moving in the right direction and we're doing something that is in line with our highest expression, we feel like we are effortless. It's effortless. It just comes. It flows. I, I always use the, 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 the sentence or the, the reminder, greatest ease and highest joy. That is the quickest way to know that what you're doing is in line with your highest expression. If you're running and you're in that flow, what you're feeling in that moment is maybe nothingness. You're in a nothingness world. It's the greatest ease, it's the highest joy. When we are gardening or we're in the ground, that could be it. A lot of us think, because we might like the earth, if I go work for an agricultural company, then I am doing my highest expression. That's bullshit. If society says that working at a company of agriculture is better than actually putting your hands in the ground as a farmer or in your backyard, then so be it. But the truth is, is that if you have a passion for working with plants and working in with the soil, then that's what you're here to do. And I'm not only here to say that that's what you're here to do, I'm also here to say that your fastest path to cash is your fastest path to, to passion. So you, in your passion lies your greatest wealth. It is because you're flowing with all this energy that of course you're going to be passionate about it, of course that's going to be you might have to do a course or a class to people and teach them how to work with the soil. You might be a consultant. You could be somebody doing talks. You could be, there's a million and one ways that you can take your passion and your flow and make an abundant amount of money that will never end. It will never end because you'll never end. You'll never end learning. You'll never end growing. You'll live to 128 and you will be very, very happy with what you're doing. But the first thing 
that we need to do, and this is very difficult sometimes, is if we want to move into our highest expression, we need to move out of the expression that we're not. 